Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to the channel. We're at JLC Live, Providence, Rhode Island, 2023, and I ran into my buddy Alex. Alex, we've known each other for a while. Yeah, a few years. He's been working on brake accessories for a long time. We've been using them on the channel, but here at his booth, he's got a crazy setup, and I think it really showcases what you've been working on for the last, how long? Well, we started about seven years ago. We've been working on our own brake for many years now, yeah. and uh, we've been uh, selling it for about a year now and uh, we're launching it officially at, uh, at a trade show for the first time, so. So this is like a first look at like full setups, and I think what's cool is about, about this setup, you're gonna learn, is that it's like completely modular, and you have so many options with it. Am I right about that, saying that? Yeah, that's correct. Like, we don't want to tell somebody what they need and what they want, and here's our options, and that's what you're limited to. We try to offer, you know, bases, and you use the bases to your needs. So you set it up the way you want it, if you prefer, we think of our closing mechanism to be push to lock, pull to lock. You can decide what you want. Uh, we don't. If you don't like Coke, we don't want you to force you to, to, to drink the Pepsi. And if you don't like the Pepsi, we don't force you to drink nice. the Coke. So why don't you take us through and show us some of these awesome things? Oh yeah, sounds good. Yeah. So basically, here we have the small brake uh, that's split in two, just to showcase that the exact same mechanism can be reversed. So here we have it set up in the uh, pull to lock. So as you can see, you push to open, pull that's to how, lock. That's what I use on yes. mine, yep. And then, but there's other- uh, Van Mark? Van Mark or? likes the uh, push to lock. So the, the same mechanism takes about 10 minutes to reverse on a brake, but now you're in the push to lock. So when you say that, do you mean I don't have to buy something different? I just set it up differently? That's correct. So you just, there's settings here. So pull to lock, push to lock, and we have a video that shows how to set it up and then it reverses uh, the mechanism in about, it takes about 10, 15 minutes to, to set up on a break. So depending on what you like, you set it up for yourself. What else you got here? And then here we have our uh, different throw depth options. So here we have our 12 and a half inch, 19 inch, and then we have our monster 24 inch. There's nothing like it on the market. We're the only co company offering a uh, power plate that has a 24 inch throw depth. So you can fit your whole coil stock inside. Yeah, mine I can fit all but like, you know, the last six Five, inches. Yes, or so you always have is. to figure the layout so that there's you minimize your waste. Whereas with this, you just start from the edge, right? And the other beauty of that too is we have a heavy duty model that does light gauge steel uh, up to 24 gauge. And oh. yeah, we the people love it because a lot of time they'll buy stock that's 48 inches wide. So oh. being able to fit 24 inches in allows you to rip the sheet right down the middle, which is not popular with any other dimensions. Interesting. I do like that. Yeah, that is very cool. So you get to choose the size and these things are super lightweight, man. Yeah, so we don't use casting. We use quarter inch uh, aluminum that's laser cut and everything, there's no casted parts on, on our brake. Everything is machined out of billet. We manufacture everything in the house and uh, it's just stronger, lighter. When you say in house, you're in Ontario. That's correct. And that's in where Ottawa. you're manufacturing? Yeah, so that's uh, actually the backdrop is our factory. So okay. that's where all the magic happens. Nice, nice. What else is, uh, what else about this? Because this is kind of interesting, I think. Yeah, so basically the beauty of our design is that it's modular. So here we have a 36 inch module and we also have a 42 inch module. So depending on the combination that you want, you can, we, we're not telling you, you know, get a four foot brake, get an eight foot brake, get a 10 foot brake. You combine whatever module to have almost every option available. So you're saying I build it? Yes, so we knock it down, we, we ship it knocked down, so this, Big break here was shipped in those five boxes. Wait so a second, it, how big? How big is this? Is this a ten sixer? Ten six, uh, heavy duty. All came to the show in that box. That's correct. I had the whole truck. That this whole booth, all those brakes fit in my five and a half foot truck bed. When I got my Capco twelve sixer, I remember it came on a semi on this huge pallet. What a pain because it costs a lot to ship. So you yes. theoretically, I mean, you ship these. Anyway. All over the world, and UPS picks it up and delivers it to you, and we've shipped to Europe, Asia, uh, South America. What's setup time? I mean, how long does it take a guy to set it up? So, plan about an hour and a half, two hours for the heavy duty, so there's more power plate frames. Yeah. Uh, and then that includes all adjustment. We pre-adjust everything at the factory, the tension. Uh, but if you need to do any adjustment, it's very easy, very simple. We've always kept, you know, the, the assembly and the design of it uh, with the end user in mind. So, so just to be clear, make sure you guys understand this because I think it's crazy is these sections can be this 36 or 42 and if you want to take a 
five foot section of break or whatever that adds up to be. I don't yeah. know, 42 and 42, let's say, to the job site, you could do that. That's correct, yes. The, you could disassemble it and reassemble it. It, it, it will do it, but it's kind of time consuming. So depending on how well, much you time you an have. an hour potentially. Yeah. But, if, but on the other hand, if you have a job site, so we have a customer that purchased the brake because uh, they do a lot of remote work and they got to fly all their equipment in. Yeah. With, uh, so by a helicopter. So they knock down their brake, ship it up. They ship up their 14 foot brake and then they assemble it when they get on site. So it opens up a lot of possibilities if you know you got work lined up for the next month and you know that you don't need a 14 foot break you just you'll be you'll have enough with the 10 and, and a half storage is tight in the trailer yeah, just or something. leave one module off and I, I don't see it as something that you change every single day yeah no uh, that would be but, crazy what what's the longest you guys have done so far then so the longest we've sold and shipped out is 17 and a half okay but this summer we're planning on doing 29 modules connected together to do a hundred <laughs> foot piece. It's absolutely useless and impractical from an expansion and contraction of the material. Sure, hundred foot bending. piece of aluminum, one piece doesn't make a lot yeah, of sense. But it's just for bragging rights. There's no issues with the brake. Um, How many guys will it take you think to actually bend that? We'll see. The, what, do you, uh, what do you anticipate? Because I'm going to hold you I, to it. I'm going to ask you next time I see okay. you. Well, on the 17 foot, 17 and a half foot brake, I tested it from one edge. So I all the I, way on one edge. Yeah, so I had 17 foot of material on my right or my left, whatever, and I bent and it was almost perfectly straight. So if you go in the middle, so I'd say every 20 feet, you might need somebody. Okay. Um, so, but uh, we'll push it to the limit and it's just, it's all in fun and seeing yeah. how much we can. Uh, that is pretty cool. So um, what else, what else you got? I mean, your accessories, so, this looks like a nice updated accessory. Yeah, so um, now it's laser engraved. Uh, so we've tried to improve uh, always. I love these, dude. I absolutely love these tools. Greg and I, when we, I don't even take a tape measure out anymore. That's the goal. And that's what started the whole company seven years ago. Yep. Uh, I'm an installer that's myself. Where, that's where I met you. Yeah, with, yeah, that's with it. these first generation versions. Yeah. So we uh, cont continually always want to improve and get the product better. And since then, we obviously took it to a whole other level. Uh, yeah. they used, that used to be made in my garage on the press drill. And, you know, <laughs> the, um, but now we have full CNC equipment, state yes. of the state of the art to ensure accuracy and everything is dialed into the thousands of an inch. So it, I went from aiming for 16th of an inch on the construction sites yeah. to thousands of an inch in the in machining. In, in machining. So it's a whole other so let's go ahead and, I mean, I know people are going to want to see this thing work because at the end of the day, it's a break. What, what does your break do? What have you thought into it and to make it better for the user? So basically to me, the big thing, and, and this is one of our most popular uh, model, okay. the 24 inch throw depth is Huge. in my opinion, one of the most important parts. Yeah. Um, but we offer smaller dimensions for people that have more restrictions. Uh, so we, and then the adjustability as well seems to, has always seemed to be an issue for uh, the end user. Uh, you know, the, the, fit, the, 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 the adjustments are hard to get to, or yep. um, That's they That's why I don't get, do it often on mine, dude. Yes. It needs to be adjusted. Uh, yeah, so the, whereas what we did with ours is we uh, have a 960. What that is? I'll just try it. Yeah, like, it's Greg's like a, standing over here and I'm looking at him like, we use our Tapco Max XL commercial brake Greg, just walk in here and, and give that a nice little tug. Like a Mercedes-Benz. It's so smooth. Yeah, maybe ours is so out of adjustment. I don't know, but that. But just you can feels even amazing. adjust. You can adjust the tension if you want more tension, less tension. So our nine sixteenth adjustment here is just tighter, looser, uh, very intuitive, and uh, we even have a grating I on the that. side that gives yep. you a little bit of a visual as to where you're lining yourself well, up. You can be consistent across the board. That's correct. Yeah. And then the other uh, advantage that we have, there's no when it's locked, there's no pressure on the pins. You see how, how loose this pin is? Yeah. All the pressure is transferred through the aluminum uh, anodized pieces, so that ensures that it's not going to wear out, and yeah, you're not yeah, going to yeah. you can rely on the brake when you need it. You don't need like a maintenance kit for this thing. No, uh, and we've put it through a million cycles. We've geared up a wiper motor that went like this for a week. And after a week, there was minimal dust uh, and it was working still as it was intended. Which maybe people would be concerned initially thinking that it's all aluminum, right? I mean, yes. it's, it's a softer but there's no, metal. Yeah, but there, and we anodize it, which makes it makes harder. Makes it harder, yeah. Uh, but there's no friction until it's in the locked position. So when it, when it matters is when it is. And then the rest of the time, there's 
pressure on the pins. But as soon as you need force, yeah. then it's transferred to... Uh, okay, so we talked about this thing. Let's see it in action. And I also want to talk about the stand because the stand you have is obviously unique to you. And I know moving a brake is a pain in the butt. Yes, it's uh, it's always been a two-man job, and you know it's you got one guy walking backwards, and then you don't see the curb, or you're trying to <laughs> get up in the We've trailer. We've never done that, have we, Greg? <laughs> no. He's the one walking backwards. You're the one oh, pushing. Oh, hundred percent. Yes, it's always me pushing him. So what uh, we've done and that's it doesn't seem like much but there's probably more engineering in the collapsible stand than there is in the brake it's you serious it requires there's more parts in it okay. it takes longer and we've had the collapsible stand for probably about four years now yep uh, it's been proven and the feedback has been very positive very good but we got two levers so one lever for each leg and you just pull on it and then collapse and then it latches so basically you drop a whole end and now the transfer the weight transfer goes to the wheel so to the wheels, a yeah. single person can move it whenever you're ready to use it just pull the lever and it goes back out what's the weight on a 10 foot sixer so the, the this heavy duty model is 168 pounds okay uh so we have a heavy duty line that will do heavier gauge steel yep. and then we have our contractor line which will have less power plate frames uh the same model in the um contractor grade is probably around 130 pounds okay all right that's well, for the 24 inch why don't there. Do you want to, or looks like John over here. I know John, and maybe some of you guys might recognize John from a past video I did. Did you want to maybe do some uh, demos of this thing, yeah, show sure. it in action? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Hey, what's up, John? Been a I long bet. time. Been a long time, <laughs> pal. Nice to see you again, man. Dude, this this guy is the metal bending master. He's a wizard. Like, if you guys ever message me, like, oh, Kyle, how do you bend like origami? This guy can bend anything on a brake. So, John, take me through some of the accessories and the benefits of this brake and what you love about it, because you've been bending stuff with it now. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. This is fantastic. One thing that um, uh, Alex has done a very good job with is removing steps, and okay. it's about efficiencies, it's about process. So the one, a couple of the tools that we have are the stops on the inside, and he's so efficient that he swivels it so you can have a stop here, and then your next bend would be a stop here. Yeah, that's, a, that's an amazing tool that I, I do not have yet. And then that out was... of the way, the other cool tool that we have are the magnetic measuring sticks. So the beauty of the cutoff is that it's a, the cutoff is a one inch or one inch offset. It's not an inch and a fraction. So I don't have to do math. You don't have just... to do math. You can just do it. So the beauty of this is, let's say that we're looking for a piece of material that's Eight inches, so we're going to go to... Well, because you've got the cutter offset mark instead the, of just the... The cutter yeah. offset mark? Yeah. And we can bring this guy in here. So we're at eight inches on the on the black line. Yep. And I'm going to set these over here. And then we can flip it up, and we don't have to walk back to the brake. We can cut this again. Okay, so that's that's obviously, if, if you have ever used a brake, you would know how much of a pain it is, because that's what I do all the time, is you break it all the way down if you're cutting like a 12-foot piece on my 12-foot sixer, and then you got to go all the way back down, reset. So that's going to allow you to go either way, anytime. Exactly. The beauty and the genius of this of this tool is, it's all magnets, Kyle. It's all magnets. So it comes down, it's locked in place, it comes up, the magnet grabs the pin, and you can switch... That's pretty sweet. So I can bend with that left on the brake. That's also sweet. One of the innovations of Innova Tools is the wings on the end here. Now I can use the entire brake to bend my metal, and now it's on. It's out. out if of the you're way. doing like big bends and it's completely out of the way, exactly. Yeah. That's a nice little attachment. So if you think about this brake, and and really give it some uh, um, some thought. If you had a brake that was 17 feet long, right. you could do residential rakes seamless. Yeah. So we'll bend. And just for, uh, um, so we're going to bend a fascia. You can tell this guy's never used a brake before. And something like that, you, you you can go seamless on that on a rake fascia. Oh, I love seamless anything. Yeah, you got it. So on your on your big post frame buildings. Yep. 
Less yep. seams, man. So you can bend 24 gauge on the commercial heavy duty version. Yes. Um, I thought I seen somebody bending like three pieces of aluminum like it was literally nothing. I mean, is that because of the strength of what, like what allows you guys to do that so effortlessly? If you look at this break, this is two pieces here. We can get three. We use plate, aluminum plate. We laser cut it. And the beauty of that is, is this is way stronger than a sand casting. You're going to have less deflection here and it's lighter. So yeah. the brake is going to be lighter than a, a competitive brake. The strength of this and the durability of this is second to none. Hmm. Yeah. And I mean, I got to be honest, it's even just a sexy looking brake. It is the coolest looking yeah. brake there is. Yeah. This brake pops. And, and I've been in this business for 42 years and this brake pops. This is the first real innovation that I've seen in 30 years in this industry. 100%. That's awesome, dude. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot more to this brake and John if you were at JLC, would tell you a ton. But what I really want, I'm gonna ask you, John, would you give us a sweet demo of some cool origami bend? What the heck? Because, dude, I'm all, I'll just sit there and watch this guy. Uh, let, let's just see, what are you gonna, are you gonna tell us what you're gonna bend? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna, well, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna get out of the way so people can see this. We'll do a cool fascia. Okay. How's that? All right. So think about, we're 17 feet long, we'll do a cool fascia. So again, our cutoff, We're gonna hem with it. Factory hem, beautiful. The front of the brake is our tape measure. So that's an inch and a half bend there. Now we're gonna do some millwork detail. Come back and return that last bend. And now we've got that small step. Oh, I, that's pretty cool. I didn't know how to do a small bend like that. Are you putting a curve on this, John? I am, I am. You gotta do it, Kyle. You, I mean, you just, I mean, the last time we did this, I think it went viral. <laughs> There's your 17 foot fascia, Kyle. Yeah, I, I'm guessing that was, uh, you've done this a couple times. I, they pulled me out of labor pool about a week ago. I can't believe it, you know, but we're, <laughs> we're gaining to, on it. Hard Dagget. to find good work, man. <laughs> well, hey, anyway, this is Innova Tool. They have their new brake. It just got featured and released at this show. At this show, yep. absolutely. Lots of brake accessories. Gonna make this job a lot more enjoyable. So Alex, window installer first. It's all about process. And efficiency, man. And efficiency, yeah. absolutely. I love it, dude. Thanks, John. Thank you, sir. Always a pleasure. Alex went, but uh, Alex, <laughs> big thank you, man. Yeah, I thank you. Wish you guys the best of luck because, I, like you said, I grew up and saw the same break that most guys are using today, you know, so for 30 years, it's just the same thing. So it's good to see innovation. So if you guys want, I'm going to put their information down below. Um, they can ship you in just some UPS boxes a break. So... Go check it out if it's something you're interested in. Do you want to talk pricing? What's yeah, a 10 well, foot six cost? 10 foot sixer cost? So this model, heavy duty, uh, just the brake itself. Uh, regular price is around 4,200. Okay. Uh, contractor grade is around 2,800. Okay. Uh, but all the U.S. or Canadian? That's U.S. Okay, just making sure because <laughs> there is a difference. It's, it's, yeah, it's three times the price of Canadian. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I see. was hoping that was a Canadian yeah. price. <laughs> but the um, all the pricing is on the website. Cool. Uh, and if you have any questions, my cell phone is all over the website, so give me You're a, a and That's a scary thing to do, man. You're brave. I, I got nothing to hide. Awesome. So. Hey, thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Have a good Thank rest you, of Kyle. the show. You bet.